This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Are you guys ready for some lunar exploration? I certainly am. It's time to drive the LRV around along the Apollo 15 expedition route. So, since ancient times, the moon has had a hold over the human heart and has been an object of fascination for artists and scientists alike. Now you have the chance to experience the surface of the Earth's greatest satellite for yourself. Yay! So we have three different missions here. And they're all, well, two of them are like time trials. And then the third one is like a coffee break where you knock over cones and stuff. But the first one is going to be starting from, I don't know where on the moon. And then let's see here. All I know is that while driving this thing, as the description said, we're going to be experiencing gravity that's six times weaker than it is on Earth. So it's time to go to the moon. Fly me to the moon and back. I'm ready to play because I can't stop the fire. I'm pretty sure I fucked the lyrics up and even then, even if I didn't, my singing is terrible. All right, third attempt. I got stuck in between some rocks in the second attempt. Uh, Start the, mission. the goal is, I guess at this point, Try to find the route that has no humps and try to avoid humps at all costs. Because it's not hump day, haha. I think this might be the strat actually, like going on the left here at the beginning. Avoid all that. I'm about to say the road, but the moon on this side is flatter. Oh yeah, we saved a shit ton of time by going this route. It's like I've, I've gotten golds on these before, but since I don't play this mode too often, like I don't really recall what the strat is. Obviously with the late steering because of the because of the gravity and all. I don't know shit about science, but I'm going to act like I know what I'm talking about. Passing checkpoint. Got to turn in kind of early with this thing. Racer V, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Slow, slow. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. We... Didn't avoid these humps, but I feel like we went through that a lot quicker than normally. So we should be on track now. I think we're definitely on track for a gold here. Because I feel like we're going to approach the second checkpoint a lot sooner. So in the words of Mr. Brofam, easy, easy. Take it easy over these humps. Avoided the rocks. Just break a little bit. Yo, Dan. I will hydrate in a bit. Wait, I can't hydrate right now. Otherwise, my head will explode. Gotta wear the helmet, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm certain we're getting gold on this one. Because I feel like we crossed the line. The, the checkpoint line. At a much faster rate than previously. I feel like if we can we can cross over this hump by like 255, we, we should be on track here. What helmet? This one. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just avoid these humps at all costs. We got this. We got this. Come on. We're good. That's a gold. Yep, that's a gold. Nice. Never understood these missions. I think they were just for fun. It was just kind of like PD showing off.
they were just pretty much like dumb fun missions essentially so 30 grand for our efforts saving the replay for thumbnail purposes so it was either 330 a 345 or weed the slowest but most expensive car i wonder if there's like a a cheat anywhere for or like any kind of mod to get this car onto the regular tracks or get any other car onto the regular tracks anyways i believe we're going in reverse now yeah that's why at bathers like things like constellations or some shit if i remember correctly so anyways two minutes and 30 seconds There's some really interesting facts they give you, like the moon and the earth being 236,000 miles apart, which is neat. Oh, have you? I was wondering about that. I was like, wait a minute. Why is he going like 15 miles an hour and I'm going like five? Survey of St. George Crater complete. Return to base. Okay, so he's going that line. He's going here. Okay, I'm, I I fucked up. No, okay, he did the same thing actually. Not all this, but oh, he's using so much of the left and getting all that momentum. I see now. So the left side has less rocks from what it looks like. But this isn't bad pace. I don't I reckon this is pretty good pace so far. I feel like we're going a lot faster than normal. Oh yeah, we're going a lot faster. We're going to avoid the crater there. Use all, all the right side as we can. Twenty two miles an hour might be the fastest speed we've reached so far in these missions. You've passed the checkpoint. Ooh, nice save. Although I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Come on, come on, come on. No no land, land, land. There we go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Might be it, everybody. If we don't fuck this up, we, this might be it. I'm gonna go to the left because it looks a lot more flat. No, you fucking. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're... Come on, come on. It's right there. It's right there. It's fucking right there. Come on. Just a couple more steps. We got it. Thank you, Rhino. I had to look at your video because I I, I fucking hate this moon shit. Totally didn't cheat, totally didn't um, video snipe. Nope. Oh god. Uh, you might finish, you might start GT5 soon. Yo, that's sick. I mean, I finished GT5 already, as you can tell. So, finally, I don't have to play that fucking game anymore. GT1's coming right after this, which is gonna be fun. And it's time for the copy break. So it's knock over 30 cones on the moon. Okay, yes it's on, but I don't think the the moon missions actually have any menu music in them. I think it's I think that's the way the game is. So do you want to assign the E break? Uh yes. I thought it was already assigned. All right, nearly got it on the first attempt. I kind of fucked up and missed like one set of cones and that killed us. Hurry up and start the mission. But we should be good. Episode 150? Good. Damn, isn't there like 220 events in Forza? Head to the next target. No, there's more in Forza Motorsport 4. There's way more. Move to the right. 
Yep, because that cone got hit. If we can get that cone, yep, got it. Nice. Okay, yeah, this is a gold run. So far. So far, so good. We got, yes, dude. We're, we're, we keep using the momentum from one cone and getting the other ones on the right. Yeah, this is a gold. 330. Holy shit. Well, don't forget that Rhino also did the, um, what's that shit called? The world tour or the event list or whatever? Not the event list. The, um, the season play? Whatever that, that shit's called in FM4. So that made it a lot longer. Emil's literally skipping the whole season play and he's going straight to the events, which is the smart thing to do. And there we go. That's the moon challenges complete. And there's not really anything else to say other than we won the Cold War. Well, I guess that's a... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Did anybody really win the Cold War? There wasn't really a war. It was more of like a race. Well, with that being done, we did save a replay, which is good. And with our stats, we are now 24% of the way down. And of course, next time, there's one more challenge, or not challenge, a special event we're going to do.